currently working my way through my entire makeup collection until I've used every single product and that sounds like it should be an attainable goal but I have a lot of makeup and I really want to get to know my collection better and only keep products that I truly love and enjoy using and I feel like there's no better way to figure that out than to actually use the products. So that's what we're doing today. This is episode three of working my way through my makeup collection. I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. We're going to do a little bit of a wear test and then at the end I will update you with what products I plan on keeping, decluttering, and which ones I feel like I need to try again before I make that final decision. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. I'll have my playlist linked down below in the description box as well as all the products that I'm using today we are starting with the bare minerals prime time hydrate and glow primer I have never used this product before so we are going to try it out today I do tend to enjoy hydrating and glowy primers so the hydrate and glow primer sounds like it would work out well for me I feel like it doesn't look super glowy on my fingers I can see there is some shimmer but on my skin, it actually looks pretty natural. Some glowy primers are like super intense where like you have to put concealer or foundation on top of it. But this, I feel like you could just apply this and it just gives your skin a nice like hydrated glowy look, almost like skincare. It does leave little like sparkle particles all over your face though. So if that's not your thing, you would not enjoy this, but I think it's really pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with a product that was my holy grail for so long. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I have not used this in a while. So we'll see how this ends up turning out. I have this in the shade 17.5N. I'm just hoping that the shade works for me. It might be too dark, but we'll see. I feel like that's a common trend so far. All of my foundations have been like a little bit too dark for me. This is a medium coverage natural finish foundation. And I want to say it's around the $20 mark. I'm not 100% sure, but I know Sephora collection prices tend to be much more reasonable than a lot of the brands that they carry there. So now I'm going in with the second pump. So that's what one pump of coverage got me. I didn't even get to really my nose or forehead, but so far I feel like I'm gonna like this foundation. I think this is the best color match that we've had in this series so far, which is a good sign. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra concealer. This is the perfect cover concealer. I'm gonna use the shade Light Sand and just kind of put this on where I want like highlighted. This concealer also has really good coverage. For my cheek products, I picked some cream products because I have just been loving cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlighter. So um, I figured I would use some that I haven't used in a minute. So this first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. And I'm gonna take this on a brush. I think that's what I've done in the past. This is the, the F3 from Bling Brushes. This is the silver set. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my brush and then we'll just kind of go for it. <laughs> um, I remember loving this product, but again, I haven't used it in quite some time. And usually I apply my cream bronzers, um, like they're stick form. So I use a sponge to blend them out. Oh gosh, which I definitely could use, but I don't know, I feel like this is kind of like a cream bronzer but it's a drier cream bronzer formula it's kind of like a putty almost so i feel like a brush would just work better but so far it's looking really good for blush i'm going in with this rare beauty blush this is in the shade grace i really want there's a different shade i forgot what it's called i think it might be called hope and it's like a lighter pink liquid blush from rare beauty and i want it so bad it looks so pretty I'm just gonna go in with like the tiniest little dot on each side because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be super pigmented, but honestly, I haven't used this formula in so long. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and start to blend this out. And if I need more, I can definitely add more, but I think that's gonna be enough color, honestly. I might go in with like a tiny bit more, but I think this color is so pretty. It looks really intimidating in the container, but I think once it's 
blended out and when you only use a teeny tiny bit it looks so nice things are definitely looking good so far i feel like my skin looks really matte compared to what i'm used to and i know this is a natural finish but i feel like it looks really like matte on my skin and i haven't used any powder yet for highlighter i'm a little bit nervous for this one this is from jones road this is in the shade happy hour this is their miracle balm i haven't used this before which is why i'm nervous i don't know what the formula is gonna be like so i think i'm just going to take my finger and apply this to my cheekbones just to kind of see how this is gonna look it looks very natural like I can barely see it on my skin. This is definitely a balm texture, so I have a feeling it's not going to like set on my skin. I feel like it's just gonna stay that kind of like, mm, I don't wanna call it like Vaseline, but that high shine slick consistency. So I am a little bit worried about that, but we'll see how it goes after the wear test. I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose just to kind of add some shine. So I'm not really sure if you can tell on camera, but I have it on my cheekbones. I think you can see the shine there. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I like didn't have foundation on, this, I could see this being a nice product. But I feel like on top of foundation, where the rest of my skin doesn't have that finish, it looks a little odd. For brows, I have this Charlotte Tilbury Duo. We have the Brow Cheat and the Brow Fix, which is a clear brow gel. So honestly, I was going to use powder, but now I don't think I'm going to. Um, my makeup looks pretty matte. Um, I was going to use the Nikia Joy Cosmetics powder, but we'll just save this for a future video. Now I'm going to go in with this lipstick. This is from, I don't even know, L'Oreal, I think. And this is in the shade Fairest Nude. And this is a really pretty color. It's like a cream finish. Kind of reminds me of Blankety from MAC, which is my all-time favorite lipstick, except just maybe like a little bit deeper, like just a tiny, a smidge deeper and like maybe a little bit more cool toned. Then for eyes, I have the That's Taupe palette. I thought this would like look good with my shirt that I'm wearing today. So we're just going to do a cool toned eyeshadow look. Um, I also grabbed this silver eyeliner from ColourPop, but I don't know. I don't think that's... I don't know, maybe we'll use it, we will see. And then I have the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara and the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty Setting Spray. So let's go ahead and set the face with some spray because I feel a little too matte, which is crazy because my whole life I had like super oily skin and I couldn't get enough powder. And now I didn't even use powder and I'm like thinking my makeup looks too matte. I'm gonna start by taking this light matte color and putting this in my crease. All of the brushes that I'm using today are from the Silver Bling Brushes set. Then I'm gonna take this shade right here and put this in my outer corner. I'm just gonna use that same brush and just kind of tap it in the outer corner. I could definitely see fallout becoming an issue with that Miracle Balm because it's almost like a wet surface on my skin and so if powder falls onto that I could see it sticking. I'm gonna go back into the first shade that I used and just put a little bit of that along my lower lash line and then I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called slated and I'm just gonna use my finger and apply that to my lid. This is kind of like one of those super shock shadow formulas that they have in their palettes Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I've always loved ColourPop eyeshadows, but I feel like they are, even though they get a lot of hype, I feel like they're still so underrated. So I decided at the last minute to put the silver ColourPop liner in my waterline, and I actually think it looks really cute. So I'm very happy that I did that. I was a little worried that it was gonna look funky, so. Now I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara and then I will be back for the finished look. Here's what that mascara looks like. It did such a good job at lengthening my lashes. I think that it looks so good. Here is the finished makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and film a couple videos, do a few other things, and I will come back in a couple of hours for the update. 
I am back for my final update. I have all of my products here to go through. Here's what my makeup is looking like. It's been about two hours, so not a super long time, but I feel like my makeup is definitely looking a little bit more lived in now, so we can just kind of get a better idea as far as how the products perform over any amount of time as opposed to just like straight from application. So let's get into it. So the following products will go into one of three categories, keep, declutter, or try again. Um, we're going to start off in order. So with primer, we have the Bare Minerals Prime Time Hydrate and Glow Primer. This is something that I feel like I need to try again. I really like it. It feels nice. I like that it had that sparkle to it. Typically, my glowy primers have a little bit more sparkle, but I feel like using it one time, I, I liked it enough to want to try it again. So I'm not like sold on it initially, like this isn't going to be my new go-to just yet at least. So this one is going to be a try again. Next we have foundation. I have the Best Skin Ever Foundation from Sephora. I really like the way this foundation looks. I did not end up setting my skin with any powder, so this is just kind of what the foundation looks like after a few hours. Definitely a little bit more matte than what I'm used to, which surprises me. I haven't used this in so long though. Um, and I have two shades. So I have 17.5N and I have 20 and I feel like 17.5N uh, is definitely like a good shade match for me. I definitely don't need anything darker. So I think I'm gonna declutter the shade 20N only because by the time I get around to being this shade, it's gonna be several months from now. And I feel like I should probably just get it out of my collection because I've already had this for probably well over a year at this point. So. That one's gonna be decluttered, but I am gonna keep the shade 17.5N. For concealer, I am going to keep this concealer. I have two shades. I have light sand and natural. Light sand is a little bit lighter. Natural is a little bit deeper. Natural is more of like a skin tone color. And then light sand is more of a highlighting kind of shade. So I am gonna go ahead and keep both of those. We didn't do powder, but for bronzer, I am gonna keep this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I think this is so pretty. I have this in the shade two, so this is like medium. I definitely could use the lighter shade, but I feel like if you go in with a light hand, like this color still works well for me. So I am going to keep this, and I did really enjoy this formula using it with a brush. I'm gonna keep the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade green. Race. I definitely want more shades of this blush. Let me know what your favorite Rare Beauty liquid blush shades are. Typically, I like something probably a little bit more like neutral than this, like a lighter pink or peach, but let me know what your favorites are. This is so pigmented, and again, this was like a tiny bit of product. The pigment lasts a long time. You can still see blush on my cheeks, which is great. Then we have the Jones Road Miracle Balm. I think I'm gonna declutter this. This is my first, well actually it's my second Jones Road product that I've tried. I've tried a lip liner from them. Love their lip liner formula. Um, but this is my first time trying their Miracle Balm. I feel like this definitely has a purpose, but it doesn't really fit my personal makeup lifestyle. Um, I think putting this on top of foundation is not really the way to go. Maybe if you were not wearing a base, like I mentioned earlier, this would give your skin a nice, healthy, natural looking glow. I could see this being beautiful, but for me personally, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I definitely want some coverage to cover up my redness and hyperpigmentation. And I just don't think that this really suits that makeup style. So if you want that like super natural, like clean girl makeup look where you don't even have to put concealer on, maybe this is something you would enjoy. But I am going to declutter this one. It's so pretty. It's like this really pretty light pink color with sparkles. I'm gonna see if my mom would like this because I know she loves this brand and I know she has a lot of their Miracle Balms, but that one's gonna be a declutter. For brows, I'm gonna keep my Charlotte Tilbury brow products. Love both of those. My lipstick, I really enjoy as well. It's something a little bit different. Like I said, it's very similar to Blankety, just a little bit darker. So I feel like it looks more intentional with lipstick, whereas usually I go for like a barely, like it just looks like my lip color kind of thing. 
this is just like a little bit more something. So again, this is in the shade Ferris Nude. So pretty. I really enjoy this lipstick and I really like the formula. It's long lasting. I haven't even reapplied it yet. The shine has definitely kind of worn away a little bit, but the pigment is still there. I'm definitely keeping the setting spray. I love the She's Thirsty Setting Mist from Patrick Ta. And then we have eye products. So the mascara, I'm going to keep the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I thought I was going to get rid of this because I forgot how good it was. And then using it today, I was like, dang, that's a good mascara. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. And then we have the ColourPop That's Taupe Palette. I think this is so pretty. It's definitely more cool toned than what I would typically go for. Usually I'm either pink or peach, nothing else, but this is a little bit more like gray, taupey, cool toned, kind of like almost like grungy kind of look. Um, but I really love ColourPop's eyeshadow formula and I think this is such a pretty color story for when I do want something like this. So this is going to be a keep and then I'm also going to keep the eyeliner. This is in the shade Kicker. It's like a silver metallic eyeliner it's still there in my waterline I don't, I'm gonna zoom in <laughs> so that you can kind of see on my lower like waterline I still have that silver eyeliner there I haven't touched it up I think it's so pretty and it just adds like a fun little pop to the eye look that I normally wouldn't do I like never wear eyeliner so that was just like a fun little fun little something so um, we are trying one product again i have high hopes for this but we are going to put this in the try it again pile and then i'm decluttering two products so i would call this a success it's always good when a lot of the products work out for me and i feel like i've kind of gotten my collection down to a size where most of the products that i have that i've tried before i know that i enjoy or have enjoyed at one point i know we're going to come across some older products that i'm not going to want to let go of but um, like throughout the rest of this series, but this is again a good way to just clear out your collection and just really focus on what you're using and being intentional with what you decide to keep. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!